Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Street Court Dave and today we're talking about Epiphone and how they've kind of gone missing in 2022. So, yeah. Yes, folks, we're going to talk about Epiphone in 2022, how they've kind of gone missing in just a moment. But first, make sure you're subscribed. Just take a second, hit the subscribe button. It really helps. Hit the like button while you're at it. Uh, notification bell, hit that and choose all notifications. And the reason why you would do that is because we do Three Chord Dave live every Saturday. We do cool things. We talk about music, guitars, um, movies sometimes, all kinds of things. And occasionally, well, once so far, we gave away a guitar completely free. Uh, so make sure you're part of Three Court Dave Live. It happens every Saturday at 10 p.m. Irish time. And to be a part of it, you gotta be subscribed. So click that subscribe button right now. And don't forget, in the description of every video, there's some links, including one for these beautiful t-shirts right here. Yes, Three Court Dave merch exists. It looks like this. It's got a completely original font that was not ripped off by anybody. Uh, let's say no in the middle of that. Anyway, this is available in white, black, red, I think. There's some new colors coming all the time. So make sure you check out the links in the description below. They are working now. So thanks for that. What's been happening with Epiphone in 2022? So let's just take it back to January 1st. And the news was, the rumors were, Epiphone got some big stuff coming. Wait till the NAM week or the Believe in Music week, they're gonna be releasing a whole batch of stuff. That's what I was told by a couple of different sources who've given me accurate information in the past. Like people who told me about the slash pricing of the Epiphones last year. So I, I was tended to believe it. I was like, oh, Epiphone going to do some cool stuff. There's a Believe in Music Week happened at the end of January. And what happened? Well, Fender and Squire, they came out with new ranges completely. Some of those Fender 40th anniversary editions look amazing and I can't wait to get my hands on a couple of them. Very nice guitars. PRS came out and said, hey, you guys want a cheap silver sky? We got one for you. And everybody like lost their mind. You couldn't go on YouTube without seeing somebody talking about it one way or the other, even me. You couldn't go anywhere without seeing like Gretsch guitars or Charvel or Jackson or any amount of different guitar companies and musical instrument companies putting out new collections, new 2022 guitars and instruments, because that's what happens. But last year, Gibson didn't really do it. This year, they didn't really do it either. Now, Epiphone did release one guitar in that week. It was the Joan Jett Olympic. You guys know I love Joan Jett, right? I mean, I've said it enough on this channel over the years. I do, I love Joan Jett. She was number one the day I was born, which just ingrained her in my soul. I love Joan Jett. Not super fanatical about that Olympic guitar. I don't think it was great, but it was nice to see them doing something. So that's one thing. But they've kind of disappeared <laughs> since then. There's been nothing and uh, that's weird. You know, Epiphone, we know that there's stuff coming we just don't know when. Uh, we know that there's an Adam Jones Les Paul coming, for example. We know that there's a Jerry Cantrell uh, Epiphone Wino coming at some point. We've seen pictures of these things. We know they're coming. So why aren't they here? But more concerning is that it seems to be like they've taken the first quarter of the year off. I don't know why, but they did it last year uh, as well. So maybe they're holding everything back for Summer Nam and in Summer Nam we're going to go, oh, there's all the cool stuff. But that seems like a weird tactic with all the other guitar companies releasing stellar lineups and them kind of missing out. And I mean, Gibson have brought out some cool stuff as well. There's the new BB King Lucille from the Custom Shop, which is good. Uh, then there's the Slash guitar that dropped last week, 250 of them only in the world. The four, in celebration of the album four, uh, the Cherry, uh, Translucent Cherry Les Paul, which, we're three and a half grand and people are trying to sell them for up to 18,000 on reverb. I mean, that price was slashed. See what I did there? Pretty quickly down and you're, they're kind of resting around 8,000 right now, but still they did something, they released something. And then of course, just a couple of days ago, we got the Jerry Cantrell um, acoustic guitars because everyone was waiting for two Jerry Cantrell acoustic guitars. Everyone wanted two of them. So Gibson did that. Yeah, anyway, um, so I just, it's just super weird. Like why haven't they done 
a refresh of the standard lineup. Like it gives us a few new colors on the uh, Les Paul standards or, or like a, a super flame top finish or, you know, wide flame or Lazarus flame or whatever they want to call it. Just do something on the Les Paul side, new colors and things. That'd be nice. Thanks. Uh, on the SG side, just put, put do a Pelham Blue one and put that out, uh, an actual Pelham Blue standard. Thanks. Uh, maybe you could do something with a Flying V. Uh, maybe you could do something Epiphone-wise with a Carina. I mean, I know these would have to have been developed months in advance, but do something. Uh, there's New finishes is probably the easiest thing, um, but we haven't seen a, a thing yet. Now maybe they're They've got their eyes on something else. Maybe Gibson Records launching was like more important. So they're like, let's, we got this one release. So let's pay all our attention to that. Maybe they were like, well, we've got these maestro pedals. So let's forget about Epiphone. But they've done that now. So where's my Epiphones is what I'm asking. I just need to know. I mean, as far as I know, they don't have a good excuse for why there's no Epiphones coming out. So we want to see him and you know you know there's there's speculation is there going to be a new Jared James Nichols guitar uh to replace Gold Glory or to go alongside Gold Glory hopefully just restocks of Gold Glory will happen everywhere and uh, that would be super cool maybe we can see finally a refresh of the Muse lineup get some new colors or new finishes or you know just anything at all maybe maybe they can do Epiphone protector cases like they've just released uh, Gibson ones at the end of last year just, just, you know, things that would excite people. Yeah, anything. New new finishes, special editions, new variants. No, I mean, I mean new varieties of things in the Epiphone lineup. We need something to kind of keep us enthused. Otherwise, Squire is going to get all our money. Or PRS is going to get some of it too, maybe. You know, those of us who are shopping in the sub $1,000 market, we're looking for new stuff. And it's not there from Epiphone. So... Let me know what you guys think, because I think it's very weird that there's no new Epiphones this year, except for that Joan Jett one. And, you know, it is. It's just a little bit strange. Um, they did, of course, the Billy Joe Armstrong, that was late last year. They did the SG, as I mentioned, that was late last year as well. So they've, maybe they brought those things out too early and they could have had something for the start of this year. Maybe we're going to have a bumper summer NAM show, as I said. I don't know. I just feel like there's maybe something missing from the guitar world when Epiphone doesn't seem to be doing anything. And it's kind of bugging me, to be honest. I want new Epiphones, please. So, Mark, Cesar, JC, wherever you are, get us some new Epiphones. I don't care what they are, just put them out. Even if I don't like them, put out new Epiphones. Um, that's, and that's my thoughts for today, guys. So don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed. Leave me your comments about Epiphone down below and a special offer for you if you want to learn to play guitar and you're here checking out guitar videos. Fender Play are offering 50% off on everyone who subscribes to an annual subscription. Just click the link in the description below there to join Fender Play on an annual subscription. 50% off using my link there and the code you need to use is learn to play 50 and that would be very cool for you. So learn to play guitar. At least get you started. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure. I will be back with a new guitar-related video very soon. And until then, I'll see you at Three Chord Day Live on Saturday. Take care.